Hello, it is Sunday, August 1st, 2021. I'm Chris Remo, and welcome back to my New York Times crossword daily solve. I'm still here on holiday in a hotel room in Oxford, so I'm not going to have too much preamble here before I get right into the solve. But I did want to mention one thing that was sort of an astonishing coincidence. <laughs> Yesterday, you may recall in my frantic, somewhat uh, technically impaired solve, there was an answer clarion that was clued as a relative of a cornet, which is itself a relative of the trumpet, a musical instrument. And I wasn't really familiar with clarion. It took me some time to get there. And funniest thing, I was <laughs> just a couple hours later, um, I was at a large stately home called Blenheim Palace, which is, um, you can pay an admission fee to explore it. It's incredibly grand. It's got extensive gardens. It's quite incredible and, and beautiful and magnificent. And there's a large pipe organ in the dining hall. And I, I find organs fascinating. I, I played organ for a bit in university. And um, although I died, <laughs> don't ever get the chance to play pipe organs in my life, for, unsurprisingly. Um, and I didn't yesterday either, but I did get the chance to inspect the console of this pipe organ, the console being the, um, the keyboards that, that you play. And organs, if you're aware, have uh, stops. They are um, these sort of uh, pegs that you can pull in, pull out and push in, and those control what the organ sounds like. So organs can imitate many other instruments and uh, the stops are, are generally labeled and there are all different stops and they the more complex and extensive an organ is the more stops it can have and the phrase pull out all the stops is um, I think is actually a reference to stops on an organ and you're pulling them all out you're going just absolutely going for it and I was glancing at these stops and I happened to notice that one of them was labeled clarion um, and if I have time today um, depending on, I guess, how easy or difficult this crossword is, I will try and put a picture of that on the screen. And I just thought it was such a funny moment of uh, synchronicity that I had encountered this term earlier in a musical context. And then just a few days later, sorry, just a few hours later on the same day, in fact, uh, I had seen this. And I guess a clarion stop in a pipe organ, uh, refer it's essentially a sound that's similar to imitating the trumpet, but an octave higher. And in fact, the instrument clarion, it actually seems it's a historical musical term. It's not really a current musical term, which is why, why I wasn't familiar with it. And in, in this context, anyway, um, and there seems to be some debate as to whether it was an instrument that was a sort of higher pitched trumpet or whether actually in the historical literature, it simply refers to the higher range of a trumpet. So simply playing a trumpet in its higher range. Um, but in any case, it is it is still currently in use as the label for a particular stop on an organ. So I thought that was fascinating. And this is already more preamble than I intended to do. So let's get in with the solve. This is a puzzle by Matthew Stock, and it has a title. And I've realized I've often forgotten to mention titles in these videos, and they're important because they usually indicate that there's a theme. And the title of this puzzle is Off Brand, with the and created by an ampersand sign. So we don't know what that means yet, but maybe something about brands, corporate brands, and maybe the theme will involve the word and as well. And uh, I don't know if I'm going to have any of the same technical issues I had yesterday. I've taken a few steps to try and mitigate them. I will try to not complain either way, because I'm sure that's not interesting for you viewers to hear me bemoan my uh, my technical limitations here. So I will just get on with the solve, I hope. So with that, let's go. Ready to get started? Okay. A is one. Well, it could be a musical note. I'm obviously predisposed in that direction because of all the musical discussion we've just had. Um, could be a blood type. Could be a letter grade. I don't know. It could be a lot of things. Let's keep going. Ozone harming compounds for short. Who's PFCs? Something fluorocarbons? That rings a bell. Pac 10 school informally. This is a um, sports thing, uh, student sport in the United States. Uh, I don't know. 
qualification shorthand. Uh, so qualification as in, um, you know, in my humble opinion or something could, could be that, uh, that, that could be an answer to this. If this were I, which it might be, um, I am H O. I mean, in other words, you're qualifying the statement you're about to make. It's maybe not an absolute need some qualification, please. Could be, may I, I mean, none of these are fitting this PFCs. So something's wrong. So I'm not putting any of it in yet. Help when writing a letter. I don't know offhand. Let's just keep going. Actor guy or ye. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. How awesome. Too vague. Let's keep going. Play with as a cat might a toy mouse. Well, this looks like paw at. Uh, ba, ba, ba. Pac-10, Pac-12 school informally. It used to be the Pac-10. I do know that. Now it's the Pac-12. Um, please, because my university actually was, I think, in this, which was, well, actually, so my university was the University of California at Berkeley, which is Cal. So it could be, it could be Cal. Ozone harming compounds, maybe CFCs, chlorofluorocarbons. Is that a thing? Sounds right. Uh, and then this could be for what it's worth. FWIW as a qualification. So CFCs, please, uh, can I instead of may I? All right. Help when writing a letter. I'm not sure offhand. Five guys, question mark. So this is italicized. Makes me think it's one of the theme answers. Five guys is in fact a brand. It is a, uh, a burger joint. And I know that it's not specific to the United States because they have them here in the UK as well, although I don't know how widespread it is beyond, beyond that. Um, uh, yeah, not, not enough to go on with that five guys yet. I'm putting Cal in there because we have C and A. South American capital. Uh, so this could be capital as in a capital city, but it also could be capital as in money. So it could be peso, which is used by some countries. Let's try it and see. Finished first. Well, it's probably one to win the race. Those Spanish. Um, so I think this could be esos or esas, depending on whether it's uh, masculine or feminine. So let's. I'm just putting in one of them arbitrarily. Although I don't know why I'm doing that. <laughs> I shouldn't because I have no idea which it is. Statements of will. Statements of will. So it's plural. Um, vows. As in I will do this. I vow to solve this crossword. Oops. Vows. And then that's ASOS, the masculine form. Certain Ivy Leaguers. Okay. Here's one. I suspect I know what this is, and I suspect I only know what it is because of crosswords. <laughs> this, I think, I'm going to guess, is Eli's. And I think Eli's refers to students or former students of Yale University. And I think that's because its founder was maybe Eli Yale or Elihu Yale. I think. Let's... um. We'll, we'll, we'll confirm or deny that as, as the puzzle progresses here. Five guys. Yeah, still not enough to go on there. It might have desks and drawers. Um, I don't know, a bureau? No. Shade of purple. Ah. Green giant. So another brand, Green Giant. I'm not. I'm not going to be aware, obviously, of how international any of these are, without having been in every possible country and seeing whether these things exist. But this is a canned vegetable brand. I want to say in the United States, ambulance driver for short could be an EMT, emergency medical technician. I think that is drift apart. Not sure. Blank millions. Um, I want to say mega millions, which I think is some sort of lottery brand. Main character in Larry McMurtry's Lonesome Dove. I've never read Lonesome Dove. I've never seen the film. 
Don't know. Like basalt and obsidian. The rock minerals. I don't know. Don't know exactly. Don't know exactly. Something sent on a list serve. Um, so this is essentially an email subscription list, right? So probably email. The power of global trade sloganeer. So here's another brand, probably not part of the theme, but just tying things into brands, which I suppose Mega Millions is as well. So we've got quite a few brands going on in this puzzle. Uh, but I don't recognize the power of global trade. Do not recognize that offhand. Blank Ching. Um, I assume this is Cha Ching, the sort of expression of uh, victory, or maybe victory is putting it too too strongly. Celebration, maybe more accurately. Figures. Oh, the power of global trade. Maybe it's DHL, which is um, logistics delivery company. And that certainly exists in Europe. I'm certain of that. Okay, Green Giant, still not sure. Uh, help when writing a letter, though. This now looks like stencil. In other words, not not a letter that you would send in the post, but rather um, lettering large letters from a stencil on a wall, for instance. Apt name for a Christmas caroler. Could be Noel, which in the female form can have two L's like that, but I sort of a guess. So let's, uh, let's look at some crosses into crystals and auras say, uh, maybe new aged or new ager. Let's try that out. Blank B or blank C if the spice girls, well, we absolutely know this from a recent uh, crossword. This would be Mel actor, Allen of crimes and misdemeanors. I don't know that I've seen crimes and Mister misdemeanors, but given Four letters and the A, I want to say this is probably Alan Alda. So this is interesting because this app name for a Christmas character, if not for this new age thing, would look like Noel. So maybe we get rid of that for now. But I'm not going to put Noel in either because I'm not confident of that. So what could this be? Into crystals and auras, say, if that, if that were an O. Neo. I mean, Neo makes sense. It would, you know, it's some that is prefix for new, but yeah, I'm not sure offhand. It probably is Neo, but I'm not sure what the sort of name of this, I don't know, movement or tendency is. Let's keep looking. This is a very leisurely Sunday solve so far. Blank Clarendon, first openly transgender WNBA player. Well, I assume this happened recently, but I just do not follow sports, and I honestly haven't a clue. Jolly Rancher. Don't that's we'll have to we'll need to, some more crosses probably for those clues. Although there are probably people who are very attuned to that kind of wordplay and, and and home in on it immediately. Hole. I mean, it could be a pit. I don't know. It feels though this could be a few things relating to land, old style. I'm not sure. Diagnosis characterized by repetitive behavior in brief. Um, it could be obsessive compulsive disorder, OCD. Does a summer job with a question mark. Ah, so this is a sort of punny way of referring to someone who adds things as on they do sums. Brain freeze cause, maybe. Um, this is another brand, I suspect. Uh, I'm going to guess this is Icy, which is a um, sort of a blended ice slushy fruit syrup drink that is sold in the United States, at least. Plots of Western films. So it could be, with the, the question mark, this could be plots as in plots of land rather than plot as in the action that communicates the story of the film. Uh, I'm just looking at names that could end in IA and fit this many letters. It could be Letitia. 
I don't know. I wanted to say Magnolia, but that's too many letters. I don't know. Sides with. Oh, did I skip? I probably have skipped clues I haven't even looked at yet. Focus of a marathon runner's training. It could be pace. Marathon runners have to pace themselves uh, so that they can uh, maintain their energy level at consistently throughout the race. So, oops, 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 what am I doing? Let's jump back to some of the crosses. My B. Uh, don't really know what that's getting at. Is that sort of slangy, like, way you'd greet a friend? Its calendar began in AD 622. That looks like Islam to me. Uh, that sounds like when the Islamic calendar would have begun. Um, Special Agent Blank, animated Disney show about a bear. I mean, I, I've never heard of, I've definitely never heard of this, but my because of three letters and the S, my my first instinct is that this might be the Spanish word for bear, oso. Uh, oh, my B is my bad. Oops. Maybe this is oso. I mean, now we have OS. It's sort of hard to imagine it not being. It could be osa. Um, main character in Larry McMurtry's Lonesome Dove. Uh, Jolly Rancher. I just don't know. Dessert with some assembly required. Uh, this could be a s'more, which uh, is when you take two graham crackers or digestive biscuits and um, some chocolate from a chocolate bar and a marshmallow, and you roast the marshmallow open and over an open flame so it gets melty, and then you sandwich it between the chocolate and and uh, biscuits or crackers. And it's actually delicious, and you do it when you're camping. Okay, uh, warrant. So this could be warrant, in other words, it could be warrant as um, a document or charge to uh, search or obtain something. It could be warrant as uh, as a verb meaning to, to justify this crossword warrants uh, additional consideration and solving. Could be either of those. Um, ba, ba, ba. Sides way. Oh, I didn't, did I look at these? No, I didn't. Grand opening. So this could be um, something that precedes the word grand. It could be a prefix that comes before grand and then creates a new word or, or phrase or compound word or phrase um, could also, I suppose, mean a prefix that means grand. In other words, an opening you use to to mean grand. As in, I mean, arguably, mega could be that. As in, mega millions. Um, but I'm not seeing it immediately, so I'm just moving on. Sides with, allies with, presumably. Like the odds of finding a needle in a haystack. Well, like the needle itself, those odds are slim. Photo finish. Uh, this, I suspect with the M, this is referring to matte. In other words, as opposed to a gloss finish. So a gloss finish being shiny and slightly reflective. <clears throat> and a matte finish uh, being non-reflective and almost sort of rough. Um, what blank? Uh, this looks like what else? Let's just put it in for now. Means of divination. So I suspect this is tarot, as in tarot cards. You're using that to divine your future, potential future. Dolphin's division. All right, I've solved enough crosswords to know that this is a sports clue and to have a guess about how it could end. <laughs> because I think what this is referring to is there are divisions in some American sports leagues that are divided into East and West. And I suspect this will be one of those. And the nice thing about that is that they at least both share two letters at the end, which are ST. Although we already had the T, 
and the S isn't very helpful because the down was already plural. So I'm not, my, my clever crossword inferences are not doing much for me right now. Stag's date. Okay, so this, without the question mark, this would appear to be a sort of odd contradiction because um, if you're going to a party stag, you're doing it without a date. And so then what does that mean? But with the question mark, this probably refers to a what a male deer, so maybe a stag's date would be a doe, a female deer. Uh, also, as in the song, doe, <laughs> doe, a female deer. Okay, plots of Western films. Oh, it could be s a home. Oh, homesteads. Yeah, how about that? Homesteads, meaning um, when people um, sort of. Uh, claim a plot of land and then establish a home there sort of previously uninhabited or <laughs> probably in this case maybe very much previously inhabited but uh but anyway grown up pup um probably a seal a seal pup grown up big spread I'm not sure what that's getting off right offhand. I'm just going to keep looking around. What pro bono lawyers waive? They waive their legal fees. Binghamton Rumble Ponies or Birmingham Barons? Um, well, these certainly look like teams. And because it's an or, it's a single team, as opposed to both of them, meaning teams... Uh, so either one of them is a team. Um, but I'm not sure what the first part is, so let's keep looking around. Feudal Lords, I think this came up almost identically. Maybe identical clue, an identical answer just a couple days ago, and it's a liege. My liege. Blank Clarendon. Oh, right, this is the WNBA player. Yeah, I'm not going to know till it's <laughs> till it's so crossed that that it's a foregone conclusion. Relating to land, old style, right? We looked at that already. Whole. Um, why is this not extremely obvious to me? Uh, now it's making me doubt team, which is strange because these really look like teams. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'm going to sort of nervously erase all of that, and let's keep looking. Okay. Uh, Grammy recipient Lisa. Could be Lisa Loeb? I mean, I assume there are... There's got to be a number of answers that could fulfill this. Deserving of a timeout, say. Well, this could be bad. You get a timeout because you're bad. So maybe it is that. Um... Magic can be seen here. Um, I think this is probably a sports thing as well. <clears throat> I want to say this is Orlando in Florida, the Orlando magic. That sounds real. Does that work? Grand opening, I don't know. Jolly Rancher. I'm going to need more more crosses on those. General Mills, the the British twenty pence and fifty pence coins geometrically. Um, are they? Oh, they're. How many sides do these have? I should really know this, but no one's using coins anymore. Let's come back to it. It'll be something ons. Ah, like the Hmong language. Uh, that's got to be tonal, right? Tonal language. Certain guiding principle. Um, this would be the Tao, which has come up in the crossword several times recently, actually. Bank often. Um, bank often is a lender. Sign. 
Um, I'm finding my ability today to sort of look forward into longer words and phrases is diminished. I'm feeling very uh, fuzzy. Grand opening. Let's see. We've gotten sort of off track with just going through the across. So let's get back up onto that. Member of a South Asian diaspora. This is probably Desi, which is the term for uh, <clears throat> people from the Indian diaspora. Um, but, but what is this? They can help you see or taste. This double L is sort of odd, isn't it? That looks like something is incorrect. I'm not crazy about this. What do I have wrong? Sides with, allies with looks very plausible. And what pro bono lawyers waive is legal fees. I mean, legal fees seems more likely to be correct simply because it is, um, the fewer things I could imagine this being. And also it crosses with the slim, whereas allies also crosses with the slim, but with an S, which is less, um, specific to the word allies. It does cross with liege. Oh, I spelled liege incorrectly. Good Lord. I'm sorry. I subconsciously did that in order to force my other answer to be correct, which is terrible. How could I have done such a thing? So whole, ah, this makes more sense. Now this would be a pit, presumably relating to land old style. Um, I'm guessing it's going to end with I L in the way that an adjective that has an I in that position likely would. Old style. I'm not sure what that old style is implying. Well, let's keep going for now. Oh, blank ing, author of Little Fires Everywhere. This I know, it is Celeste ing. I haven't read that book, but I've read another novel of hers. Exams often offered four times a year for short. Uh, this is one I know mainly from the crosswords. This is the LSATs, which I think is actually a legal uh, test for people who are going through law school, maybe something like that. They can help you see or taste. Well, it probably ends with, with ES. So now what is this? I mean, it doesn't necessarily, but my guess is that it does. Fermented Baltic drink. Ah, well, this is kvass. A non-alcoholic or very, very, very lightly alcoholic drink, fermented drink, often fermented from bread. It's very good. It's very tasty. Um, what is this? They can help you see or taste. I'm sure this is one of those ones that should be very obvious, and I'm just sort of wasting time staring at it. <laughs> Probably many people have already gotten it. Let's move on. Indicate availability in a way. Indicate availability in a way. I mean, wave looks like it could maybe work. That doesn't work with lender. Rove? Is Kvass incorrect? It's really confident about Kvass. Maybe it's not that. Ties. It could be knots, knots up, something with knot, K N O T. <clears throat> X in linear functions. Uh, I'm not sure what the. Uh, I don't. I'm not mathematically educated enough to immediately know what a linear function implies. Dolphin's division. Oh, we got that. Well, we don't got it, but we discussed it. Doc treating sinus infections. I think this is ENT for ear, nose, and throat specialist. No need to elaborate. I get it. Uh, I would like a little bit more elaboration on some of these clues, actually, please. Um, meadow grass with brush-like spikes. Not sure offhand. 12 out of 24, e.g. 12-24. Oh, 12-24. Probably a date is in Christmas Eve could be as generic as date. It could be something more specific, but let's, let's try date. I promise I won't laugh often. 
Um, well, I want to say this is sort of a fib or a lie with those three letters, which would make date incorrect, which is very plausible. Every last drop, well, every last drop could be all, which would fit the A. Blank Perlman, roll for Timothy Chalamet and call me by your name. I didn't see that. I'm not sure. Oh, uh, let's maybe delete all of this and come back to it. Although every lapse last drop does look like all and only three letters. I don't know that there are that many things that could be. Let's put that in for now and see what happens. Texas Instruments. Here's another brand name. Texas Instruments was a um Oh, maybe still is a pioneering semiconductor or integrated circuit company. They also made calculators and things. Um, Upsilon procedure. So this would be a Greek letter. I don't really know the Greek alphabet fully. Could it be, I mean, it could be a tau. Just try that. It's a pretty, pretty arbitrary guess, so maybe don't keep it in there. Uh, bu, bu, bu. Like many a company softball game. Like many a company softball game. So this presumably is sort of a company bonding exercise situation. And what would that be like? Awkward? <laughs> Undesirable? That stinks. Well... Could be ooh. Or ick or something. Android alternative. It could be iOS. Could also could also not be. Could be another manufacturer of of no. No, because Android itself isn't a manufacturer. I was gonna say it could be another manufacturer of Android phones, but that doesn't fit the clue. Subject devoting extra time to idioms. Well, this is this came up a few times early in this series. Hasn't come up very recently. This is probably ESL, English as a second language, which would need would definitely need to devote extra time to idioms because uh, idiomatic expressions don't make literal sense most of the time. So you would need to spend extra time explaining them to someone learning English as a second language. Exclamation after a sigh. Ah, alas, alas, I am struggling with some of the bits of this puzzle. Attempt to control the narrative in a way. Um, it could be spin, as in political spin, to control the political narrative. Supermodel Kate. Uh, this is ringing a bell. Um, Kate Upton. Does that sound right? Oft contracted word. Um, not. As in does not, doesn't. Very commonly contracted. Hey, over here, in brackets. And that in brackets, I don't know that we've gotten this very often yet on this series. When the clue is in brackets, what that means is um, sort of referring to a nonverbal vocalization. So it's something you are saying, but saying is maybe the wrong word. It's a sound you're making with your mouth, but it isn't actually words. And I suspect in this case, it's psst, to get someone's attention. Hey, over here, but quietly. Rolls around while exercising. Mats, as in you roll around on a yoga mat or something? That doesn't quite fit the clue. Omar of Love and Basketball. Uh, must be Omar Epps, I would think. Old Navy. Well, based on these letters... And the clue, so Old Navy is a clothing brand and retailer, but I think that's irrelevant. I think that's totally irrelevant to the clue. I don't think that's actually something worth mentioning. I don't think any of these um, clues that are brands, I don't think the knowledge of the brand is going to make the slightest bit of difference to the, to the, um, to solving the clue because well for one thing they're not even capitalized so even though these are alluding to brand names they're not capitalizing them so they're not actually using them as the brand name uh so this old navy is is it's 
in a playful way, it's alluding to the existence of a brand called Old Navy, but that is not, I don't think any of that is going to, that knowledge is going to be necessary whatsoever to solve. And I think I will get my first one here, which is Spanish Armada, literally an Old Navy. Uh, truce, a truce could be a pact. Quick talk, yeah, as a chat, so that does suggest pact is correct. Um, side dish at a barbecue. Could it be something potato? Doesn't seem like it quite fits. Tech school in Troy, New York. Uh, what nyctophobia is the fear of? Hmm, I don't know. I'll be interested to know. Slobbery cartoon character. Uh, this might be Odie from Garfield. Blank over. Words after letting off steam. Game over. Doesn't seem definitely true. Litter box emanation. Well, it's an odor. Odor and OD crossing each other, seemingly. What nyctophobia is the fear of? Oh, could it be could it be fear of the dark, maybe? Rough patch. Headache helper. Tech school in true New York. I feel like I know this. Um I want to say it is. RPI. I'm gonna. I, I know the name of this. It's the Renslauer Renslauer Polytechnic Institute. I think. Headache helper. Oh, aspirin probably. Oh, rant over. Words after letting off steam. Rant over. Yes. What I might say after railing against the uh, predominance of. E prefixed words in New York Times crosswords. Uh, let's see. Oh, so this is pro this probably is fear of the dark nyctophobia. That's a new one on me. Teeny tiny. Um, could be atomic with the smallest size. Something could be the size of an atom. Um, a rough patch. Ah, a thicket. So this means a rough patch of uh, sort of growth underbrush. Side dish at a barbecue. Could it be succotash? A word I think I maybe only know from sort of expressions and cartoons, but don't I don't actually know what that dish is. Blank milk. Well, with these crosses, it looks like oat milk. Producer of the world's most widely read consumer catalog. I suspect this is IKEA. Dolphins Division. So the oh, it's east, we now see. So my suspicion about the uh, regions was correct. East and west, and it is east. Uh, ugh, gross. Ah, so yes, ick. Weekend, here I come. This would be um, TGIF. Thank God it's Friday. Clued on a Sunday. Texas Instruments. Ah, so this would be steel guitars, which are um, often used in country and western music, which might be enjoyed in Texas, I suppose. Oh, maybe Upsilon Proceeders is Tau. Got sort of lucky. Oh, indicate availability in a way is RSVP. I see. I probably should have thought of that, but I didn't. Uh, Respondez, s'il vous plaît, I suppose that would be in French. Répondez, maybe. Anyway, whatever. X in linear functions. Well, this looks like input, which is a sort of math-like thing. Ties. Oh, it is not sup, maybe. That was an early guess, but I felt like a slightly awkward phrase, not up, but yeah, fair enough. That stinks. Um yeah, I'm not sure. Rolls around while exercising. Maybe this is mats, as in a mat is what you roll around while exercising. Band aid. So a brand name for a particular kind of bandage, but uh, but again, I think that's utterly irrelevant to solving and honestly, probably unhelpful because it, it'll put your brain in the mind of something that most likely has absolutely nothing to do with the answer. Um, utterly nothing to do with the answer. I'm using synonym of absolute that was clued, I think, yesterday. Band aid. 
I mean, I'm thinking this is probably a band is in a rock and roll band, a rock band, and maybe like a roadie or someone who's helping them on tour, but, but I could be getting distracted by that assumption. Have we looked at all the crosses? I don't think we have. Efflux. Does this refer to sort of effluviant or things sort of overflowing? Like many a grill master. I don't know, a dad? <laughs> took a little look. Oh, it could be peaked. Took to court. Well, if you took someone to court, you sued them, presumably. Lava, e.g. Um... Well, I want to say flow. I was in lava flow. Lava, e.g. Is there another meaning of lava that isn't to the sort of magma meaning? I mean, peaked could very well be incorrect. Eccentric. Sporty wheels. Um, I might remove peaked because I'm not confident enough to be to leave it there oh android alternative yeah i suppose this is ios after all so that stinks what is this boo i guess boo boo that stinks explorer richard who made his first who made the first flight over the south pole i don't know offhand band aid oh well this looks like system doesn't it and that that would confirm matt's finally Explorer Richard, I don't know. Um, sound system, maybe, for a band? Something that aids a band? Could that be true? Oh, eccentric, could this be outre, maybe? That would work with sound system. Oh, like many a company softball game, this might be co-ed, which is one of my least favorite adjectives. Although in this case, it's fine. So co-ed, it might, this might not be co-ed, but um, co-ed is often... So what this refers to is when women started being admitted to universities or others, I suppose, other school schooling institutions that were previously male only, that was called co-educational. In other words, you didn't, not just women at a school for women and men at a school for men. You had both at the same school, so co-educational. I mean, that makes sense, but often what this, often what co-ed is used for in crosswords, and I find this incredibly irritating, is referring specifically to women students only because they would be the co-eds because the men were the sort of default students at the school and now there are women as well and the women are the co-eds, but it doesn't make any sense because they're all co-ed. The whole thing is co-educational. So um, that's not what this is meaning in this context. But just letting you know that if you see something that looks like it's referring to women students in a crossword, sometimes that will be co-ed, which... Uh, anyway, that was an unnecessary digression because that's not what this is. And it might not even be the answer in this case. Finished. What is that getting at? So we've got an ellipses, finished, exclamation point, inside quotation marks. So um, presumably this is also going to be an exclamation. This would be something someone would say. End, I mean, it looks like it might start with end just because it's resonant with finish. Uh, but this metagrass with brush-like spikes, I don't know. Oh, I see. Finished, okay, so it's and done. So the reason it's got those um, ellipses is because it's sort of, uh, it's a phrase that almost doesn't make sense on its own. It's almost as though it's following something else. So, and done, it doesn't really make sense as a standalone sentence. You say it that way, but the implication is it was preceded by a bunch of things that was, I guess, the work that you have now finished. So that's what that's getting at. And then that this really makes me think this is sound system. Genre for One Direction. Um, well, I don't know that I've ever heard of any of their music, but I suspect they are teen pop based on the way they're discussed. Ah, so took a little look. It's not peaked, but might be peeped. Like many a grill master. Not sure what that's getting at. Uh, a flux. Hmm. 
Oh, outpour, outpour, right. Okay, so my original suspicion was basically correct. This looks like Richard Bird. Like many of a like many a grill master. What is this? Oh, aproned, aproned. Oh, and lava, e.g., is soap. This must be a brand of soap. I'm not familiar with it. But we've got another brand. Ah, and sp sporty wheels are a coupe. A coupe meaning a um a sporty car with two doors as opposed to four doors, a sedan. What is this? Oh, I never looked at this. Airline based near Tel Aviv. This one's always a gimme. It's El Al, the Israeli airline. Israeli flag car carriers we discussed a few days ago. Uh, sign. Uh, into crystals and aura. Still don't know this crystals and aura thing here. What is this? Uh, 12, oh yeah, right. 1224. Could be dates. <clears throat> General Mills. So again, this is a uh, breakfast cereal manufacturer, but that is irrelevant to the clue and the answer. General Mills. So it could be, so I mean, it could be Mills as in factories, um, could be General as in a military commander. Oh, and actually military fits at the beginning there military academies could that be what that is as in diploma mills not sure if that's what that's getting at they can help you see or taste oh glasses in other words you drink from a glass and taste what's in it or you um put on spectacles and see things better that's clever sides with oh agrees with that should have been more obvious Okay, so this was team. This uh, Binghamton Rumble Ponies or Birmingham Barons. That is something team. Jolly Rancher. So, Jolly Rancher. Have we looked at this down. We have not. Oh, no, no, maybe we have brief, very briefly, and I think I just skipped past it. Inflated feeling of infallibility. So this is essentially um, overconfidence. Um, but I'm, I'm sort of, uh, my brain isn't, the wheels aren't turning, the gears aren't cranking in there. Uh, okay, let's see. Like basalt and obsidian. I'm not sure. Just. Um, just could be fair, as in um, a just verdict. It could be just as in only or soul or mere. As in a, this is this is just a Sunday crossword puzzle. It's no Saturday. Could be any of those things. Green giant. Ah. So this could be green as in ecologically friendly. So maybe it's something to do with wind farms or wind turbine. In other words, uh, produces green power and it's very large. A wind turbine is enormous. Figures. Oh, it could be data. Naysayers. Doomsters. Doomsters and gloomsters. Um, it might have desks and drawers. Its national drink is the Pisco Sour. Oh, um, this might be Peru, actually. I think that rings a bell. I think Pisco might be a Peruvian liqueur. Apologies if that's incorrect. Uh, naysayers. Deniers? No. It might have desks and drawers. This, this one is annoying me that I'm not getting it because it feels like I should be able to. Boy, I'm already at 45 minutes. Yikes. Um, this will be one of my longer solves, I would suspect. Some vacation rentals. I mean, could it be two beds or something? One beds or something like that? I mean, referring to the number of bedrooms, would that make any sense? No, I don't think so. Police broadcast for short. I suspect this is an APB. 
an all points bulletin, which is um, when the message is sent out to all points. It's an all points bulletin. Catch this man or whatever. What is this team? A something team. I don't know. State of disorder. Oh, this is a, this is a, this calls back to maybe yesterday uh, when entropy, I think, was used as a clue rather than an answer. Actor guy. I'm, this is probably so obvious. Actor guy. I don't know who this is. Guy. I don't know naysayers boy it does look like it has something to do with denial doesn't it it might have desks and drawers art oh it might have desks and drawers people who draw so an art class or something art room art room sort of odd but maybe actress blank creed miles uh <laughs> i don't know um Old pal. Lube up again. Well, this looks like re-oil. That's an easy one. Some vacation rentals. Oh, I see. Airbnb. Airbnb is another brand. So really very brand heavy crossword today. Uh, this is not great because now I've got two crosses and I'm not confident about knowing either of them. We've got the WNBA player and we've got these teams. I mean, this must be a vowel to make the name work. I hope these other crosses are correct. Lacia. I mean, this is, it looks like AA. This looks like, sorry, I mean, this looks like AA because it's an abbreviation, presumably. It could be anything. And this looks like, I don't know what other vowel this, this must be A. Lacia. Boy, I hope that's correct. And anyway, just must mean only in this case. This uh, this A here is only an educated guess, an, an uneducated guess, I would say, in fact. Very much an uneducated guess. Old pal. I'm, I mean, it could be a crony, I suppose. Oh, Guy Pierce. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everyone. I hope you weren't E yelling at me too much. Crony, actress. Uh, oh, it is Nate. Why did I think this wasn't deniers? I could have sworn I guessed this was deniers. Did I did I miss that it was plural and try to put in denier? I don't know what happened there. Sorry. Five guys. Or it could be five guys. In other words, it could be guys who are fives in some way, whatever that means. Um, but it could also be a number of guys that that is that totals five. Um, inflated feeling of infallibility. Boy, that feels like I should be able to just get it. Warrant. Oh, it feels like I'm deteriorating here. I can't, uh, can't get these things. Um, the British 20 pence and 50 pence coins geometrically. Could they be, oh, septagons? Why am I, why am I struggling so much here? Okay. I promise I won't laugh often. Could that be a fib or a lie? Let's look at these. Oh, 12, 24. Okay, it's not a date. It is a fraction, which was how I first read this. And maybe it is a half. Could that be what that is? What, then this would be, this would be a lie. Oh, I wish I just knew what this was. Um, meadow grass with brush-like spikes. Foxtail, that sounds, that sounds right. Could that be right? 
Uh, doesn't look right here. Let's keep looking around, sorry. Okay, special agent, well this does look like maybe Oso. Oh, this is driving me crazy. Like basalt and obsidian. Sorry, I suspect I suspect many of you know many of these answers, and I'm and I'm uh, I'm failing you. Oh, into crystals and auras say. Maybe it is new AG. Oops. So then, what would apt name for a Christmas caroler? Oh, it's Yule. It sounds like Yule. Okay, it's it's more punny than even than the than the question marks originally suggested to me. So to sign something is to endorse it. Grand opening. Grand starts with a hard G. Letters on a stamp. Drift apart. Oh, Jolly Rancher is Old MacDonald from the children's nursery rhyme song. Old MacDonald had a farm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's, the, he's, I suppose, the, the Jolly Rancher. He has a farm, a ranch, and I guess he's jolly. I guess he's happy. Why not? Um, oh, inflated feeling of infallibility is a god complex. So maybe this is Foxtail. So that... That confirms Oso, in a special agent Oso, and we have a G here, like basalt and obsidian. Oh, igneous, their igneous rock, um, formed from lava, but not lava soap. Letters on a stamp. Oh, I guess this is USDA, the United States Department of Agriculture, that regulates food safety things, maybe with a stamp. This looks like Gus, the main character in Lonesome Dove, doesn't it? Oh, this must be, what, Heptagons? Warrant, ah, Merit, yep. Mm -hmm. That, uh, this warrants further solving, this Merit's further solving. Drift apart, uh, if we drift apart, we lose touch. One's working block by block. Could end in men as in some sort of workmen, just because of these ending en. Shade of purple, five guys. Um, this looks like it's a sports thing, an offensive or defensive line. But I don't know which. I don't know which of those is five guys or even. I assume this is American football. It's talking about, but I don't know. I don't know. Soy something. Well, tofu is made from soy. Why do I never even look at this? I never even... Yeah, I don't even think I ever looked at these downs. These probably would have helped a lot. Uh, Texture is hilarious. Could be R-O-F-L rolling on the floor laughing. Um, shade of purple. Plum, I suppose. So I guess this F here would make this offensive line. If we're standing on something, we're atop it. How awesome. Too cool. One's working block by block. Ice men, I suppose. Blocks of ice. A is one. Article. Ah, yes. A is indefinite article. In other words, a crossword, as opposed to the to the definite article, the, the crossword. In other words, are you referring to an example of the thing generally, or are you referring to a particular example of the thing? Anyway, A is an article, and there we go. We've solved the Sunday puzzle in 55 minutes. That took a while. Long video today. I'm glad I didn't do too much preamble. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed watching me um, meander my way around this puzzle, unable to crank my, uh, my creaky brain into limber shape. So um, yeah, a well done theme. We've got some nice, um, some nice punny brands. I mean, the thing I the thing I like about it is that the brands are. Um, it's it's a consistently constructed theme in the sense that these are all 
brands that that create a, a valid clue for the answer in question, but you don't need to you don't need any familiarity with any of the brands. It's, it's actually irrelevant to solving the puzzle. Um, they're just alluded to. Although there there are to sort of keep the theme going, there were a number of brands elsewhere in the puzzle, so, such as I assume Lava Lava Soap, and um, I remember there were others, but I, I don't remember where they were off the top of my head. But certainly others. Um, a lot of answers I think I should have gotten much more quickly. Guy Pierce probably was pretty obvious, and I should have. That seems like the most obvious actor guy. So I don't know why I didn't think of that. There were a number of straightforward clues I wish I'd gotten earlier. Um, but I don't need to rehash all of those. You just spent an hour watching me, <laughs> watching me very slowly arrive at them. So I hope you enjoyed this Sunday puzzle, this off-brand Sunday puzzle by Matthew Stock. I enjoyed it despite my ina my inadequacy. I certainly have no God complex about my crossword solving abilities, that's for sure. Um, if you're enjoying this series, why not subscribe to it so that you see these puzzles go up every morning as they're produced. And why not tell a friend? Spread the word about this series. And if you really enjoy it and you think it's worth supporting to help me keep it going in the long run, then head over to my coffee page where you can make a small donation of your choice uh, so that this thing can become hopefully sustainable. And to everyone who has done so, thank you so much. It means a lot to me. I very much appreciate it. So with that, we have we have closed out what I think of as the crossword week, and we will restart it tomorrow on Monday with what is likely to be a much more straightforward and quickly solved puzzle. I hope you join me for that. Have an excellent Sunday. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Mm -hmm.